starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Howdy, viewers. One of the things that is interesting is in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can encounter strangers. Sometimes it's a very simple thing you do, helping them out. Others, it can be a little more complex. And in this case, uh, Mr. Morgan is outside of Rhodes, and he encounters uh, two gentlemen who have escaped from a chain gang. And, well... They're having some issues, and uh, Mr. Morgan has agreed to help them out. This can be a pain-in-the-ass mission because, well, you have to locate posters, and they don't just appear where your the posters are. You have to walk around, and when you get close, then something appears on the map. This mission is called... The ties that bind us. You're leaving me, huh? So, yeah, we'll leave this there. Fools up to. It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tall you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Now Mr. Morgan has to take down the wanted posters, and like I said, they don't appear uh, when you want them to, or as they should. In other words, you got to walk around town, and when you get close to a poster, they appear. And sometimes it's very hard to take the poster down because you got to deal with some, how shall I say, moron who is standing in front of it. And this is how things turn out when that happens. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? <laughs> Oh, well. oh, was that it? A man's a man. Jesus Christ. Sheriff. Sheriff, get over here at once. What the hell? 
Hells is here, getting me right. <laughs> I probably should have had Mr. Morgan run away. And now he has a bounty on him on top of having to find these wanted posters. It's It gets convoluted. And again, now he's awake and alive. And he can now walk around and find more damn posters. And it's all over roads. So, yeah, like I said, this mission can be a real pain, and it doesn't get any easier. Under around town, and yeah, it appears on map in the radar there when you get close. Not wherever they're posted, and you need to kind of wander and wander around town. And, well, inspect these posters, and you got to pick up, I think, five of them. And it, it they're all over the place, hidden somewhere, and you got to get close to the poster in order for it to appear. And my horse is pooping. Anyway, like I said, it doesn't get any easier. This next poster pops up, and well, it's not being blocked by anyone. So I'm just going to take it down, inspect the bounty. My horse is standing in the way, which is my fault. I probably should have parked Freckles somewhere else. I like this horse. An Appaloosa is a much nicer horse than the other horse that I that Mr. Morgan had. And there we go. We got uh, five poster, three of five posters. We need two more. Well, stop that jerk from abusing his girlfriend or wife or whatever it was. Um, yeah, I'm going to let him lay there and let him recover. I probably should just beat his skull in, but I digress. I'm looking for posters. And like you said, they ain't easy to find. There is one here in the saloon, but somebody snatches it up. And I end up wasting too much time in this damn saloon trying to find the poster. And, yeah. Poster was retrieved by the bounty hunter. Now, the bounty hunter picked up that one poster. So, you can't get it. The final poster is in the train station post office hanging on the board and when you grab it and you take it down there is the fifth poster you have four or five posters but the five posters are now taken down 
and you can go back to Mr. Black and Mr. White and deal with the posters. Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. That's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Howdy YouTubers, sorry for the sudden cut, but this mission doesn't end with what Arthur just did, which is deliver the posters to these men. If you are around a certain area um, hunting for the um, legendary coyote, you will run into these characters again. And, well, they aren't in as good a shape as you saw them last. So let's get on with the part four of this mission, which probably should be the final part of this mission. Hey, mister. Oh, hey, friend. You boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, friend. We ate some bad mushrooms. Bad business, sure. It's been real tough, partner. So it seems. I hate to ask, but we need some medicine. Kind of fast. Medicine? Yeah, look at us. Look at me. And he's worse than he looks. Uh oh. And he looks like shit. He ain't gonna last three days. And me? I ain't well. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm I'm begging you, partner. Oh. I told you to help us. I told you. I told you, did I? You did. You told me. You told me a lot of things. We're gonna be all right, buddy. Are we? Well, physically, drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. Don't give it to White. No, no. Drink no. this and shut Take it. up. Thank you. Oh, uh, oh that's good stuff. Uh, Ooh. But listen. Uh, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe split up. Yeah. Head up north or overseas. They don't like groups of men. I know. I hear you, boss. It's time. Oh, once we're better. And there you have it. I will probably end up... This will be the last part of the ties that bind. I don't know if there's any other parts. But I'm getting close to the end of Red Dead Redemption 2. And Mr. Morgan has tuberculosis and is dying. And there's only a few more missions he has to do before the end of the game. And John Marston takes over. I hope I didn't spoil it for anyone. But this is where they are in this area. And I was looking for the legendary coyote. 
And there you have it. It's over with. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week and you want to know when they are posted. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.